Hey folks, I know it's been quite a while since I've made a video. And uh, this one is a sort of a, a reveal. I'm at uh, Cedar Hill State Park in uh, Cedar Hill. But let me uh, show you my new RV. All right, so here we go. It's a 2011 uh, Fleetwood Tioga Ranger. Um, it can't handle as much weight as my bus did, but so I'm having to downsize quite a bit. I got a storage shed, storage unit uh, close by uh, that I'm storing things in from the trailer and from the bus. And once I get my land in Arizona, I will come back with a, another trailer or something else and maybe fly back and drive a U-Haul uh, back out to Arizona from Dallas and uh, load things up in the storage unit and bring it out here, bring it out to Arizona. As you can see, I'm still trying to uh, put things away, find places for them. I've already waited once. I was at uh, I was at let's see what 12, 12 six or twelve four, and the max weight of this is uh, fourteen five. So I'm under the max at that time. I've added things since then. Um, selling a bu bunch of stuff that I may or may not need or I just don't use. Got a huge storage area right here on the back side. Just massive. I'm going to be probably putting, I'm not sure if I'm going to put the new batteries in the uh, RV or in storage in here because there's a box, a hidden hole right here uh, underneath there. And I'll probably put the inverter charger in here. I'm not sure yet. But um, that is one of the drawbacks to almost any RV motorhome um, is that there's no electricity if you don't have the generator running or you're not hooked up to shore power so you have no AC you have DC but no AC I'm gonna show you the inside here in just a minute just so sort of hold your pa hold your panties all right so here we go inside don't uh, don't judge me Still putting things away. Still putting things away. That's why I sleep up. I sleep up there, above the cab. Just decided that's I like a nice hard bed. He's got storage underneath. I'm turning that into instead of a, a door. It's going to be a drawer. It's gonna be a 40 foot long drawer. I think it slides all the way out, full extension. Same thing on that side there. This, uh, I'm thinking about taking that cushion out and putting in uh, some kind of lounge chair right there. I'm not gonna uh, get rid of this part. I'm just gonna get rid of the cushion and put something in there that, I don't know, is more, uh, got a high back for one. I want a high back and I want it to be able to swivel to where when I want to when I recline um, like a like a car like a, uh, a, a bucket seat for a car so that way when I recline I can put my feet up over there or put my feet up over there to, to lounge or have a, a stool out here that I can lounge put my feet up on uh, like I said it's still a work in progress I'm still trying to put things away and decide where things are going to go. 
that's storage area. Um, cabinets up there, uh, they're getting full, uh, but not too full yet. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to show you everything. I'm going to try. There's the bathroom. The toilet is going to be deleted uh, some, at some point. Shower, obviously. You know, you don't need a big bathroom. Actually, the bathroom's bigger than what I need. And it does have a slide out. This is, this right here will slide out. As you can see from right there to right there, that slides out to the wall there. So that much of it slides out right there. Uh, didn't really want to slide out. Just more things to go wrong. Um, but so far I'm liking it because the air conditioner works. And it has air conditioning. Uh, the engine air conditioner works awesome. And uh, it is such, such, so much more of a smoother ride than my bus was, obviously. Um, just uh, like night and day. Um, so anyhow, let me know what you think. Um, I'm happy with it. I guess that really all, that's all that matters is that I'm happy with it. Uh, really can't think of much more to say, but like I said, I'm going to put some lithium batteries in it. Um, right now, let me turn you back around again. Right now, all I have is two six volt batteries wired in series. Uh, they're uh, dual purpose batteries, brain batteries, and that's just not, that's only to start, start the generator and, uh, and uh, power the USB outlets or power the lights, I would say. Um, as you can see, the lighting right here, okay, hang on, just a minute. <laughs> see the lighting right here, I'm installing this because these are those are some crappy damn lights. So, I'm straightening up uh, light, uh, strip, light strips along here uh, and uh, wiring them in uh, to one of the lights that's up there in the ceiling, wiring them into that. So I'm gonna use, because uh, uh, I'm not gonna be using the ceiling lights, most likely. Um, but, so they, they, they are working, uh, at least most of the time. Let me uh, show you here, see if they're gonna work for me. There you go. And they're dimmable. So, I'm liking it. Uh, I actually, uh, can't wait to get back on the road. Sometimes this thing is not working properly. The lights. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I just gotta. I just have to. Uh, for the uh, the. The fixture, the remote fixture, is on the ceiling to where it's not obstructed by metal or something like that. That's even though it's RF, uh, it it doesn't always work like it should. Just like everything else in this world, sometimes they just don't work like they're supposed to. Anyhow, I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Give me a thumbs up, um, whether you like it or not. <laughs> um, and uh, please subscribe and let your friends know about me. Uh, cool Breeze Adventures. Over now. Later. <laughs>